Hi guys, Tom Quell here, checking out the Two Notes Le Clean preamp pedal. A really cool unit with a 12 x 7 in the front, and this is basically just a great sounding tube preamp that's portable uh, in a pedal design. Now, the demo you've just heard, all of the guitars, except for the acoustic of course, all of the guitars retract through this preamp. The overdriven guitar was using my Wampler Dual Fusion into the front end of this, so it takes pedals really well. Uh, all the other guitars were just either using channel A or channel B on this thing. So, let's check it out. I'll zoom in on the front panel and on the side so you can see the connectivity and what controls we've got, and then we'll listen to how it sounds. So, hope you enjoy, guys. See you there. So on the left hand side of the pedal we've got a 12 volt 500 milliamp DC input which is included, the power supply is included obviously. Headphones uh, out, uh, speaker simulation on or off just by pushing the switch. Ground lift on or off again pushing the switch and then a DI output which is a balanced XLR output which goes straight to your desk or to your DAW via your sound card and that includes the speaker simulation which obviously you can switch on and off. MIDI out, a return and the actual output which is non-speaker simulated. Okay, on the right hand side of the pedal we've got your input, through, send, and MIDI in. Okay, so on the top of the unit, basically got our two channels, A and B, which we can just switch with these non-latching foot switches, and the LEDs come on. Hit them both together, and we get fusion mode, we're in hot fusion mode at the moment, we'll go into that later on. Now channel A is just here, real simple channel, it's basically got gain, volume, bass, and treble. Really, really simple to use. Great for using pedals in the front end of this channel. And then channel B, we've got our hot and cold fusion mode. Just by pushing down here, you can see it switches between cold and hot fusion where the channels are combined. And then we've got gain, a mid sweep, which combines with the mid EQ control volume, the fusion blend, okay, so how much of the fusion uh, blend we actually want, bass, and then treble, so three band EQ. And then we've obviously got our 12X7 just here with the LED in the middle and the cool Le Clean logo and our Two Notes logo. Really well made uh, in this metal finish. It's just completely bomb proof, this thing. So let's have a listen to how it sounds. Okay, so I'm using my Fibonari um, S-style guitar with humbucker and two single coils. So I'm on the neck pickup and the clean channel. Um, I'll just really quickly show you the bypass. So this is what the DI'd guitar sounds like, not going through Le Clean. <laughs> Horrible DI'd guitar sound. Turn channel A on. Uh, you can see where the gain and volume is set. Bass halfway up, treble just over, we get this. Great clean sound. Very, very cool indeed. Now, the gain and the volume will do slightly different things. So at the moment I'm DI'd and I've got the speaker simulation on. If I turn that off very briefly, sorry guys. We just get the standard kind of DI'd guitar signal and then back to the speaker simulation again. Very cool analog speaker simulation this, so it sounds really great. Now the bass and the treble do exactly what you expect, bring the bass up. Fattens out the bottom end just like a preamp would, so it's not just adding kind of um, just bottom end, it's actually affecting the feel of the, the sound as well. Um, bring the bass down. You can hear what that's doing. Okay, then we've got the treble. So very useful musical EQ controls. Now this pedal also, um, the, the A channel here, also is completely clean all the way up. So it's not designed for kind of um, being cranked. Uh, in the cold fusion mode and hot fusion mode, it actually um, adds a lot to channel B as well, but we'll get into that. So if I crank the gain and bring the volume down slightly, check out how this thickens up the sound. Hear what it's doing there. So in this channel, the gain is basically adding warmth. Very cool indeed. Now if we bring the volume up as well, we really get quite a thick, clean sound. Um, feel is superb. Now that channel takes pedals incredibly well. If I just bring the gain and volume down, I'm just going to add in an overdrive here. Uh, this is my dual fusion pedal and check out what we get now. <laughs> The 
Remember that's DI tone guys, we're running out of the balanced out here, just using the speaker simulation on board, so that's absolutely superb. <laughs> So we'll bypass that pedal again. I'll just show you really quickly, I'm gonna add in a univibe kind of sound as well. Uh, sorry, not a univibe, a uh, rotary speaker kind of sound. So you can hear how fantastically well this pedal takes other pedals as well. Um, and there's also a uh, send and return on there that you can use to uh, add pedals into the loop of this actual unit as well, um, which is really, really great feature. Now you're obviously through the headphone socket, you're gonna get this kind of sound quality as well. So that's channel A, let's move on to channel B. And all we do is we basically press the switch like that. So um, just kind of basic stock settings that I've got here. I've got volume and gain just over halfway. Ignore the sweep for the minute. Bass, mid and treble all set just over halfway as well. And this is the sound we get. Let's add a little bit of volume. So you can hear straight away, this has got a little bit of crunch to it. This is like um, if you cranked a kind of blackface amp. got a lovely, lovely bite to it. Very dynamic. So again, let's play with the controls here. If we bring the gain up, uh, we're actually pushing, um, you know, tubes harder here, a real tube, the 12X7. So we get proper breakup. Now, if we bring the volume up all the way, again, this has the effect of kind of thickening the sound. Obviously, I've got a little plate reverb going here as well, so you're not hearing it bone dry. Um, it'd be kind of strange to run it completely dry. Um, if I back the volume and the gain down, obviously, things clean up a little bit. I'm running my preamps fairly low so that you can hear the effect that the gain and volume are having. Look at how it cleans up. Really, really cool. Now in terms of the EQ controls, let's just bring the gain down a touch. Bass. This control is particularly useful if you're running pedals into this section. So if I turn the drive on again. Too much bass, it can get a little flubby. And back that down for kind of um, overdrive pedals that have a lot of bottom end. But that is an awesome tone. Very, very cool indeed. Um, okay, so let's try the mid. Now the mid has also got a sweep control. So as we go, if we boost the mids here, we can actually sweep through. So that's nice. That's actually crunching really nicely now. Or we can back those mids right out. A slightly woollier sound, but still a great sound. Pretty powerful EQ section on the mids there. And then the treble again. What I love is that when the treble is all the way up, it's still not, it's not like harsh, like an ice pick or anything. Just sounds great, really, really good. So that's the EQ controls. Let's do the, um, the fusion mode. So basically if we push both pedals together, See now, both LEDs are on and the blue LED around the tube comes on. That means we're in cold fusion mode and this means we can blend the channels together. Okay, so when we're blending the channels, channel A is blended in using this fusion control. So all the way to the left is just channel B. And now if we bring in some of channel A, bringing in some of the clean tone. 
So there you can hear we've got this great sound if we increase the gain on channel B. Very cool because we've got the clarity of channel A but we've also got channel B in there as well. Very, very cool indeed. Now, if we increase the gain and the volume on both channels and then we blend in A to match. Now we've got quite a nice little crunch tone going on with clarity from A as well. Let's bring the treble up. Really, really nice. Very cool indeed. Now, if I back that off a second, just bring these controls back to something slightly more reasonable. If I press this button, we go into uh, hot fusion mode. Now you can see the LED around the actual 12X7 has gone red here. Both LEDs still on. Now this functions where channel A is going into the front of channel B, so it's like a boost basically. So this is acting almost like um, an overdrive pedal for this uh, channel where it's pushing the front end to give us even more drive. And the amount of boost that we get from this channel is determined by this fusion control now. So we can set this to whatever we want. So now you'll hear, as I dial this in, here's channel B on its own. It's pretty quiet because we've not got anything running into the front of it. So if we just dial this in slightly. Now as we push. Awesome. So cool. Let me back off the bass because I'm going to be clipping the front end here, so let's just bring the volume down. So for DI'd speaker simulated tones as well, that kicks ass guys, it's fantastic. Bring a little bit more bass back in. Push that channel all the way, bring the gain up. So a massive amount of gain available on there, and I've not even put the volume all the way up on that channel, so we can get even more if I was in tune. So really cool, so a massive amount of sounds available from just this one little paddle. So if we go back to channel A, bring the gain and the volume down, we're back to just our basic clean tone. Such so of two switches, bring those back up again. Incredible, absolutely superb, an amazing tone for actually not a massive, massive price. So uh, yeah, that's the Le Clean from Two Notes. Hope you've enjoyed this demo, guys, and I will see you next time.